Hello and welcome to this next video in the series uh, working on back pain. Today we'll be focusing on the neck. So as you know, the neck is a part of the spine. So it's the, these little bones. So they can be quite prone to get, getting in pain as there isn't as much cushioning in the spaces between the joints. And also due to uh, our head positioning from being in this kind of forward head uh, carriage sort of over our computers and our uh, mobile phones and all the rest. So um, we'll be working a lot on relieving sort of any tension or strain in those areas, bringing the head back into its kind of more um, optimal positioning and just bringing a little bit of awareness to that space so that we can uh, sort of go about our days and be in less sort of tension and pain. So all you need for today's practice is a, a mat and a block. So go ahead and get those now and we'll get started. Okay, so coming onto your hands and knees to begin with. So hands underneath the... Okay, so coming onto your hands and knees to begin with. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips, fingers spread nice and wide and just really get a nice sense of connection down through the, the knuckles and the finger pads. And then you're going to take your right leg back behind you and just set the toes onto the ground and press back through the heel, just getting a little stretch out through the back of the leg. And then as you inhale, take the, the leg lifted away from the ground and step it behind oops, your left foot uh, and then you're just going to look back towards that right heel so you're taking the neck into a little bit of a, a turn as you exhale keep the body as it is bring your chin following the maybe the collar of your uh, shirt if you have a round collar all the way up and over towards your right shoulder inhale bring the chin back through and look over towards that right heel. We're going to do a couple of rounds of that, just bringing the chin down, over and up. You can really allow the head to be quite heavy here, so you might feel a little bit of stretch in the back of the neck. And also you're just kind of observing the movement, how it feels through the different sections as you move through. One more of those. And finish off by looking back towards that right heel and press a little bit more through the heel. So you then press more through your right hip to get a stretch through the whole right side of the body. Another breath here. And then gently bring that right leg back through to center. Step the right foot through in between the hands. You can help it out a little bit if you need to. And then come all the way up onto that right knee. So if you need a little bit of extra padding, padding as well for under that knee, you can go ahead and flip them up over or get a little blanket, also very nice. And then we're just going to sink into this front hip a little bit here. So we're just dropping down into, into it, bringing the knee maybe over the ankle if that feels okay, relaxing the shoulders. And then think about the chin coming slightly in and the back of the neck getting long. You're just taking the head slightly back, bringing the ears over the shoulders. Okay, and then as you breathe in, lift the arms up over the head, reaching tall. Interlace the fingers and then bring the hands to the back of the head. Take the elbows wide and press the back of the head into the hands. So just engaging those muscles through the back of the neck. Couple of breaths here. If it feels like too much in the lower back, you can sort of press into the right foot and come a little bit straighter, and then press your left hip a small bit forward. So you feel a little stretch down through the front of your right, uh, sorry, left hip. It's along. Relax the right toes. Keep the elbows open. Keep pressing the head back into the hand. And then as you exhale, gently release the hands all the way down to the earth. Release your mat and step the right foot back. Okay, take another moment here again, just setting up, get a sense of your foundation through the hands, and then step that left foot back. So press. 
progressing through the, the heel to begin with. So you just get a little stretch along the back wide of the, the leg. Remember, everything is connected. So we're just working on the whole body. Reach forward through the crown of the head. So we're just trying to maintain the head in that same kind of uh, line with the spine for the practice as well. Just kind of retraining it back into that position. And then lift the left leg away from the ground, step it behind your right. Take the chin over towards your right shoulder and look towards the left heel. Pressing back to the heel. And then as you exhale, bring the chin through center, up and over towards the left shoulder. Exhale down and over towards the right. Back and forth, just moving in time with your own breath. One more. And then really looking back towards that left heel, pressing through the heel. And you can kind of press the left hip a little bit more to the left hand side, stretching out through. And then on an in breath, bring it back through to center. Step it all the way forward and through. Help it if you need to. Hands come onto that knee. And then you can sink down into the hips a little bit more. So a little stretch the hip flexors, relax the shoulders, back of the neck long, just finding that positioning again, chin in, crown of the head lifting. And then take the arms up into the air, press into your left foot. So you straighten out through the spine a little bit more. Reach through the arms and then interlace the fingers, taking them behind the head. Elbows move back towards the wall behind, keep the ribs slightly in, press into the hands so you feel, should feel that kind of activation through the back of the neck. Muscles working, lifting up out of the hips so you feel the spine getting a little bit longer as well. And then just breathing kind of naturally and calmly into the belly. release, take the arms all the way down and then step it back into that tabletop position starting point. Okay, sit the hips back to the heels, big toes can touch, maybe the knees are closer or wider if that feels better in your body and then allow the forehead to rest down towards the ground. Okay, as you're here just begin to roll the head uh, so you're sort of rolling over the, the skin of the forehead Gently rocking back and forth. Massaging forehead and just taking the, the neck through a little bit of gentle movement here. And then just start to walk the hands in towards you so you'll end up sitting onto your shins. So you can stay sitting on the shins if that's comfortable for you or you can come to sitting onto into a cross-legged position maybe that's better or you can sit onto a chair even if you have one handy and you just feel more comfortable in that position. So again let's take the shoulders up towards the ears and then just reset them down into the back so you'll feel shoulder blades sort of come to touch together. And then again, drawing the shoulders up towards the ears and resetting them down onto the back. And then allow them to be soft, so the shoulder blades aren't squeezing together, they're just kind of naturally sitting into the sockets. Turn it back around. And we're gonna take the right ear over towards the right shoulder. Keep the left shoulder softening down and away. And then take your chin down towards the right shoulder. And then lift your gaze up towards the ceiling. So we're moving through a few different muscles here that support the neck. And you go really slow and you never move into a place that causes pain. So it should feel like a nice stretch. And then the next 
next time you bring your chin towards that shoulder, you can stay for a couple extra breaths, or you could place your right hand on top of the head, just adding a little bit of weight. Gentle stretch. So not pushing or adding pressure, just placing it. And if you feel like you would like to explore a little bit more, you can sort of walk your left fingertips out to the side. So again, if you notice your breath change as it becomes shorter, or you stop breathing, then just ease up, go back to one of the previous variations. Gently start to release, walking left hand back in, placing right hand back down, and just come to settle kind of in the center again. So again, think about the crown of the head lifting and the base of the back of the head lifting. Just notice the sensations through the left side of the neck, how it feels. And then we'll take the uh, ear, right, the left ear, over towards the left shoulder. So a little stretch to the side of the neck first, and then we're alternating, so bringing the chin towards the shoulder, and then the gaze upwards, chin towards the shoulder, and upwards, and you're really just kind of exploring sensation here, right? So take your time with it. Keeping that chin slightly downwards towards the shoulder, place the left hand onto the head if you did so on the other side. Or maybe you're just holding the head there, uh, ear moving towards the shoulder. Stay here, or again, you can explore walking that right hand out to the side. Keep the shoulder of the right arm gently relaxing down. Maybe you would feel that stretch all the way from the side of the neck, over the top of the shoulder, down the arm a little bit. And then gently start to bring that right hand back in, release the left hand down and come back through to center. We're going to take the neck through a different movement now. So bringing your chin over the right shoulder as though you're looking out to the right. Keep your left shoulder drawn slightly back. And then inhale back through to center. And exhale, look over that left shoulder. I'm just kind of noticing the range of movement here as well. So where you come to and there's really no you know, wrong or right, it's just a, an observation of how sort of movement is through your own neck. You can go to the left, and you can also connect the breath with the movement, so you might inhale one way and exhale the other. to center. Okay, so keep the rest of the spine quite long. If you feel like you need to change the crossing of your legs, you can also do so here. Uh, and then we're going to drop the chin towards the chest. So you feel this little stretch to the back of the neck. And again, just kind of noticing, observing where you feel that stretch begin or where it feels most strong, strongest even, <laughs> and then gently lift the head up, so going slowly to the center and lifting up to lift your gaze towards the ceiling, and only come back as far as feels comfortable. 
and then we'll stretch the front of the throat. Keep the jaw soft. Exhale, bring the chin in and down. We're going to alternate through those two movements as well. Slowly lifting up. Taking breath. Coming back through center. to go really slow with the neck because it can be a really kind of uh, delicate place if there's any tension or pain there. Good. And making your way back through to center here. Okay, we're going to come over onto our hands and knees again so we may roll over the knees. Sitting onto one side and then up. And we're going to come back into our downward facing dog. So just get a nice sense of your foundation once again. Tuck the toes under. Press the ground forward and away as you lift the knees. And then send the hips high. Keep a little bend in your knees. And then you can start to maybe pedal out through the backs of the legs. So stretching into the calf muscles and the hamstrings. So then our focus is going to be on our neck positioning here. So keep the chin slightly in and feel the back of the neck get a little bit long as you do so. Have your ears so that they are able to touch your inner right and left arm so they're in line with the arms. You can keep that deep bend in the knees here if you need to. You can keep you moving through the legs if you need to. And then press the ground away a little bit more through the hands. So you almost feel like the arms are reaching past the ears, pressing through the earth, sending the hips a little bit higher, and we're just taking the spine into that really nice long line of extension. And breathing into the belly. Just a simple down dog. And then from there, you can play around a little bit with the movement of the neck. So you can give yourself, you can say yes. So up and down with the head, as long as it feels okay. And you could say no, moving the head from side to side. And then gently start to walk your feet all the way up towards the hands. So we're up in this kind of forward folding position. Again, feel free to keep the knees nice and bent. Bring the chest closer to the thighs. And then if you can just allow your head to be really heavy, catch hold of opposite elbow, opposite hands, dropping down into this nice stretch for the, for the back line of the body, right? So Backs the legs are stretching, spine is sort of dropping down, and the head is like a, a weighted device for the for the spine traction you know. And it may even feel nice to do a little bit of movement here, so maybe a little sway from side to side. Gently release the hands all the way to the ground once again, and we'll start to walk nice and slowly all the way back into that downward facing dog position. So find the, the nice variation for your for your neck. So neck is long, ears in line with the arms, pressing the ground away, bending the hips high. Maybe it feels a little bit different this time, just stretching out to the back body a little bit more. And then gently lower the knees all the way to the ground. Sink back to the heels. Good. And then we're going to find our block. So we'll come to lie down to the back. Have your block nearby so that you can position it in the head. So 
come to the elbows, all the way down to the earth, and then take your block and you're going to place it just under the base of the head, so the micro, the sort of little bony bits at the base of the skull, sit little bone, uh, and then from there, just notice there's a kind of stretching out through the back of the neck here, allow the shoulders to soften away from the ears. And we'll first start off with a little bit of movement, so allow the arms to rest wherever it feels comfortable, so as the feet flat on the ground, lower back comfortable. And gently start to roll the head, sort of along the edge of that block, so just back and forth. Here just to bring some uh, eye movement into it, so allowing your gaze to sort of take in all that you can see as the head moves gently back and forth. Maybe it's just your ceiling. It's okay though, taking it in, becoming aware of your space. You can also do this on a book. You can uh, put a blanket on the book, just in case it's a little bit too hard, it shouldn't be painful. And just kind of working the uh, attachment points, several muscles, just sort of attach at the base of the head. Coming back through to center, and then we'll just hold here for a moment, allow the shoulders to relax. Now, if you do have a block, you may like to explore the option of lifting up onto this higher edge of the block. It's going to take your back of your neck into a deeper sort of stretch, um, sense of lengthening there, and the chin coming in towards the chest. Now uh, this might not feel right for you, and if it doesn't, just go back to the first variation. And I like to close your eyes here, just noticing the sensation. You can alternatively extend your legs as well, just getting long through the body. It might change the sensation of stretch, so just be conscious. Gently start to re-bend the knees if they were in a bent knee position. If your block is on the higher level, just knock it back down to the lower level once again. Take a couple rounds of breath here. And then use your hands to gently take the block out of the way and just allow your head to rest fully back down onto the earth. And notice how it feels through the back of the neck now. Soft movement of your breath in and out of the body. Just taking a couple moments to rest. You may like to extend the whole body long into a shavasana shape. Gently making your way back up through to a comfortable seated position where we'll close the practice together. Just feeling into the back of the neck, spine. Try to find a little bit of a sense of lift. Feeling the 
muscle dynamics, back body. And taking a little moment of appreciation for your neck and your spine and your body that supports you. And I thank you so, so much for joining me in this little practice. Have a beautiful rest of your day.